All right, tarot ass backwards here. Um, it is, of course, the 28th of December, 2023. Uh, as you may have uh, heard, um, Maine uh, has blocked Donald Trump from the ballad, ballad, from the presidential uh, primary ballot. Um, Maine bars Trump from ballot as the U.S. Supreme Court weighs state authority to block a president. And the reason this one is so different from um, what happened in Colorado is twofold. The first thing is um, it was a unilateral decision made by, I believe, the Secretary of State, uh, yeah, Shana, Shana Bellows. And um, my mother's a resident of Maine. Uh, and the decision with regard to it, um, of course, is going to be appealed to Maine state courts uh, by Trump. But the reason it has such significance is um, basically legal experts uh, within that state um, or actually politicos, political operatives have noticed that with the four electoral college um, votes it has. It's one of two states that, that splits them, meaning um, with those four votes, even though, for instance, in 2020, Trump won one of Maine's electors, um, if he were to be off the ballot there, should he emerge as the uh, Republican general election candidate, there could be implications um in a race in the race nationally when we know in electoral college um races that are very close it's going to be very hard to decide uh, not hard to decide but the outcome could rest on one you know elector here one elector there um, which is different from what happened in Colorado, where Trump lost by 13 points. So what I wanted to, to read on here is, um, how is this going to go in Maine? Uh, is Trump going to lose this appeal? Um, and are, are we going to see him kicked off the ballot there uh, permanently? So let's take a look at this. I know we're only in the preliminary stages, but um, I do want to see it. And I think I am going to use another kipper for this, probably the same kipper I just used. Um, I really don't... Um, and as I said, please do like and subscribe. I don't, uh, you know, I, I rely on you guys and hopefully together we can grow. Let's figure this out here. Oh my God. You know, by the time I destroy this, there it is. This is the one, a very simpler one. Uh, if you know anything about Maine politics and you know anything about Paul LePage, and I'm using the old style Lenormand fortune telling cards. Um, let's pull the card up here a little bit. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Stop. Okay. I should have just left well enough alone, huh? Now that I've made you sick in more ways than one. All right, let's do this. First place in the United States, the continental United States to wake up. Certainly in this particular situation, it would be preferable to be vigilant and sleep with one eye open because we can't have a firm grasp on our democracy
if all we're going to see is something that's going to subvert our autonomy. We can't elect Donald Trump. But the nearer we get, the greater the time that's shed. Before in all time, everything is laid to rest. Does our democracy become something we can still test? Or is it laid to rest forever dead? Okay, same as before. Okay, so a surprise. Um, when I see bouquet, and I see surprise. Um, um, either at the beginning or at the end. Um, somehow, if he's kicked off their ballot, their primary ballot, but becomes the nominee and is still the nominee, or he's not the nominee, but that's a different story. We don't know the end of this yet. Um, it may, could play no role, or it could play some role. I could be looking it into the future by saying that in the sense that um, if two electoral votes are the difference and he's knocked off, he gets one there. And if he had one more, he could have been president. Who knows? I don't know what this means, you guys. But when I heard surprise, these are some of the things that were going off in my head. Um, coffin. Could Maine knock him out somehow? Um, you know, this is a state with very unconventional voting, too. Um, in the county, which I think might be District 1, where Jared Golden is, um, he's very cagey. Uh, if you live in Maine, for entertainment purposes only, he is very cagey on the issue of guns, uh, even with an, an average of a mass shooting a day because of all the hunting and all the... Uh, the county is very red. Aroostook County, the county closest to Canada, where Holton, Presque Isle, a uh, very beautiful part of Maine is that I actually would like to potentially move to someday, but I don't know if I could find work up there. But um, maybe there is something to what I said, and it will be the final nail in his coffin in the sense that there could be one electoral vote that's gone somehow through this by way of Maine. I don't know. Um, okay, the book. Um, I don't think Maine's going to break any ground. I'm not hearing laws, even though the book could be the Constitution or it could be secrets coming to light or... They're going to do everything by the book, and I think enough of Maine is read up top that at least for what follows from the pres from the presidential primary, even if he stays off of it during the primary, he will be on the regular ballot, is what I'm hearing with that. Okay, Clover. Um, uh, chances are, chances are we're going to be surprised. The final nail in his coffin will be a surprise by way of the fact that everything, even though it's done by the book and by laws, what comes about in Maine is going to be left up to chance. And let's see if that has national implications or what the implications are. Yeah, that's a yes card. The anchor card is normally a yes card. Um, yes, the final nail. Yes, the nail in his coffin. Yes, it's a surprise. Um, chances are that it's a yes. 
So I'm going to take that to mean based on what I said before that whatever is happening in that state somehow is being taken off the ballot unilaterally, unilaterally, unilaterally in Maine by the Secretary of State is going to have an adverse effect that could make or break him in the election. I don't know why, but I'm getting that. Well, I do know why, but... What's this? Okay. Something new. So maybe new ground is broken. Um, a new nail in his coffin, because these night together. Um, chances are that, yes, a surprise, a new surprise, or a new surprise that is a nail in his coffin. Let's keep going. Um, and here he is on top, you guys. Holy f Here he is on top. Um, whoever has the heart, um, or whoever's loyal, who meaning the people in Maine, uh, Maine, um, is a funny animal because it does have a caucus, but it also has a primary, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It has both. Um, whoever is loyal will be surprised what happens to Trump. Um, Trump's in for a surprise. One down, two over. We don't even know what these other cards are yet, so let's just do that. Fox again, and another yes card, the key. And sometimes, too, this can be about if we get the keyhole, and the keyhole is in this card, it can be about the aperture that's so narrow, which could also be, you guys, referring to the narrow margin by which the Electoral College could be won by Biden, simply because he's been eliminated from one of these states, for instance, for entertainment purposes only. Um, all right, so let's, let's see. To get to the heart of the matter, all right, well, the loyalty that is entrapping his followers. These can be his fault. I'm going to call them his followers. Is the basis for the for the surprise for the new surprise that provides the answer or the narrow opening to get rid of the man. Meaning, I'm going around like that and make it his final nail in the coffin. Chances are it's a yes. All right, so what I'm saying is there's something that is about this prime, about the uh, caucus in Maine or the primary or the general election that either he does get knocked out and it reduces some sort of electoral clout that is had by him, maybe because they do find him, you know, Constitution number, uh, Amendment 14, number three, 
but he's still on the actual general ballot, but he gets one fewer electoral vote and he's he's out of the election entirely, maybe as an effective main for entertainment purposes only. Bye.